What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. You know the drill. If it's your first time here, do me a favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. We're on the way to 1000 subscribers, so please do me a favor and help me out by subscribing to the channel. Um, yeah, February is going to be a busy month for sneakers. You got a lot of Jordan releases coming out, uh, a couple other classic shoes like the Ken Griffey's and whatnot. Um, while I'm waiting on, waiting on those shoes to come out, I kind of wanted to just go back into the vault. I wanted to go back into the vault and just check out some of the shoes that, you know, I haven't reviewed and some of the classics in my collection that I really like. So, just wanted to share that with you. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the Fila Grant Hill 3. Let's start with the box now. So, you got a special box here. You got this kind of teal box top and it has, you know, the heel logo with the Fila logo there in the middle. Um, you've also got some more, uh, you know, Grant Hill and Fila branding on that side. And there's a sizing tag for you. Pick this up in a US men's nine and a half. And on the bottom, it's a black box with the Fila logo right there. Now, I'm gonna open this box really quick because they do have, Fila does this with, I think most of their uh, Grant Hill models, but you can see the paper has the shoe on it, which is pretty cool. And it also has the Grant Hill logo. Now, if you didn't grow up during the 90s or during this time, then you're probably like, what is this shoe? You know, why is he talking about this shoe? You know, this is a classic shoe. And in my opinion, one of the more important shoes, well, the Grant Hill line is one of the more important lines or shoes in Fila or in basketball shoe history, in my opinion. So here's the Grant Hill 3 in this new special colorway here that I think they're calling it the G, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but this colorway is actually um, paying homage to like the 90s uh, Detroit Pistons jersey that had the actual horse on it and it was teal, yellow, and red like the colors you see here. Now, before I get into the review, uh, a a couple years ago, I believe, maybe a year or two ago, Grant Hill um, and Fila actually announced a lifetime partnership deal. So now they have the rights to use Grant Hill's name on the shoes and products and like on the shirt, as you can see, stuff like that. Um, I was a big fan of Grant Hill and the Fila basketball line back in the day. Um, and I think it's good they're doing that. So now they have, you know, rights to use his name and revive a lot of these 90s basketball shoes the proper way. So. Like I said, this is the Fila Grant Hill 3. Let's start with the lateral side of the shoe. So obviously one of my favorite parts of this shoe here is this Fila logo. I don't know why, but I've always liked that there. You've got that kind of like it's like a gray and red Fila logo there. And you've also got that really thick white midsole there. And you've got those little oval shapes on the side of the shoe as well. I just always like this shoe. It's a classic, classic shoe, man. Um, now, this is going to be something that the OGs or the real collector are going to love uh, because to me, it's just, I really like, I think this is one of the best shoes of all time. And I know some people are going to be like, what? But if you're a 90s kid, you understand. Um, just some more about the side there. You've got that yellow patent leather strip that runs all the way around the shoe, as well as some of that teal suede there and a little red leather around the front there. Um, taking a look at the actual toe box of the shoe, you can see there on the end of the shoe there, they've got 33 written in cursive as well as 33 on the actual toe of the shoe. And that's Grant Hill's number for those who don't know. Uh, moving up from there, you got more of that red than that yellow patent leather and the green or teal toe box there. Coming up from there, you've got a black leather tongue with these red, well, actual black kind of oval laces and these red strips across it that say Fila, written down the tongue there. But you know, more importantly, if you look closely, put this uh, lace behind here. If you look closely, you'll see yellow text there that spell out Hill, H-I-L-L. -L. So Grant Hill's name is on it. And that's important because, um, like I said, they got the lifetime deal now so they can use his name on the shoes and the products they put out. For example, I have here, the OG colorway, one of the OGs actually, in this kind, this is one of my favorites. Like this one is better than the other, but this one came out a few years ago. Like, I don't even know now, 
at least five years ago, probably, at least. Um, but yeah, there you have it. This is the OG colorway. But notice, like I mentioned on the toe, you got feeler there, but no heel, no Grant Hill written down the, mil the uh, tongue there. So that's just one of the things they're able to do now because of the lifetime deal. But this is a classic. I want the white and black pair. But yeah, they also, before they um, signed that deal with uh, Grant Hill, they used they were calling this shoe the Fila 97 because it came out in 1997. But now, like I said, because of that deal, they're pretty much, everyone knows them as the Grant Hill 3s. All right, moving around to the actual medial side of the shoe, pretty much the same thing there. You've got that thick white midsole, and you've got all that that kind of runs up the side there, those oval shapes, more of that yellow patent leather, teal suede that kind of runs around the shoe, and you can also see that kind of red hit there as well. All right. Now, taking a look at the back of the shoe, you've got that Fila logo. Now, I've always con you know, contributed that to the actual Grant Hill logo. Now, I know it's a Fila logo, but back in the day, that kind of like shape there was on pretty much all of the Grant Hill products, but I just remember that from then. Uh, you got this red pull tab also that runs up the back there as well, and then more of that teal, yellow, and red that runs around the heel of the shoe. Classic, classic, classic shoe. I can't say it enough. Now, taking a look at the outsole. You've got a white outsole with Fila written there in that teal and red. And then you've got this really red, this huge red circular pod right here in the back, which is, uh, I think they call it, it's Fila's 2A cushioning system right here in the heel of the shoe. And, let me see here, the insole is just a teal insole with Fila written in yellow and red. I don't know if you guys can probably get a, see that very well, but it's there. Now, that's the Fila Grand Hill 3 in this kind of 90s Pistons colorway. Now, what I will say before we get into the on feet, my final thoughts on the shoe, instant classic. When I saw the shoe was coming back out in this colorway, it was no doubt in my mind that I was picking it up. If you're a real collector, hopefully you did the same. Um, I, I personally, like I said, I wish, I want the OG white and black colorway but, you know, I like that a lot better than this. This was kind of a random colorway, I gotta admit. But because I'm a fan of the Grant Hill line, there was no doubt in my mind I was picking it up. But like I said, I like this colorway better. Now, as far as sizing, I picked this up in my usual nine and a half size and they fit pretty good. Now, it's an exact fit. I honestly feel like maybe I could have went with a size 10, which is weird. I don't usually buy 10s in any of my shoes except for some Yeezy models. But this one does fit slightly tight, but like I said, you could go with your true size. Well, half a size up will be the move, but if you picked it up in your true size, you could probably wear it, but it will likely be slightly tight. But yeah, um, that's about it, I think, for the Grand Hill 3, guys. Let me know in the comments below, how many of you remember this model of the shoe? What's your favorite shoe? I would, I would have to say the Fila Grand Hill 2 is my favorite, the one with the patent leather around it. Um, I just, you know, I was just curious how many people are actually a fan of the Fila Grant Hill line. Like I said, I know this shoe is not for everyone, but it's a classic in my opinion. And my goal on this channel is to not only bring you, you know, the hype things that people like, like, you know, the Yeezy, different Yeezy drops or this Jordan shoe this week. I want to bring you content from all different types of sneakers just to show something different than what you may see on other channels. But guys... That's all from me. This is the Grant Hill 3 or the Fila 97, whichever one you prefer to call it. Now, thank you for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.